Let me ask a, a ridiculous tangent of a question, Louise. You wrote a paper on uh, a, on Game of Thrones, Battle of Winterfell, just as a, as a <laughs> side little. I, I'm sorry, I noticed. I'm sure you've done a lot of ridiculous stuff like this. I just noticed that particular one. Uh, by ridiculous, I mean ridiculously awesome. Can you describe <laughs> the uh, the approach in this work, which I believe is a legitimate publication? <laughs> so going back to the original, like uh, when we were talking about the backstory of of papers and the yeah. importance of that. So this is actually, you know, there was a, uh, when the last season of the the show was airing. Uh, this was a during a company lunch. We there was in in the last season. There's the there's a really big battle against the the forces of evil and the you know uh, the forces of good and it's called the battle of winterfell and um in this battle there are like these two armies and there's a very particular thing that they have to take into account is that in the army of dead like if someone dies in the army of the living uh, like that person is going to you know be a, a reborn as a, a soldier in the army of the dead yes and so that was a, an important thing to take into account. Yeah, and the initial conditions, as you specify, it's about a hundred thousand on each side. Exactly. So I was able, I was able to like, based on some images, uh, yeah. like on previous episodes, to figure out what was the size of the armies. And yeah. so what I want, what we wanted to, what we were theorizing was like, how many soldiers does like a, a, a soldier on the army of the living has to kill uh, in order for them to be able to dis to destroy the army of the dead without like uh, losing because every time a, 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 a one of the good soldiers dies going to turn into like the other side and so it's so i, I we we were theorizing that and and i wrote a, wrote a couple of uh, differential equations and um, i was able to figure out that based on the, the size of the armies i think i think was the ratio had to be like 1.7 so it had to kill like 1.7 um soldiers of like the army of the dead in order for them to win the battle well oh, yeah that's that, that's science it is it's it's, it's most powerful, <laughs> and this is also somehow a pitch <laughs> for uh, uh, like a hiring pitch in a sense. Like this is the kind of uh, yeah important science you do at lunch. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, it turned out to be you know as 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 for people that have watched these shows, it's like they know that every time you try try to predict something that is going to happen, it's gonna you're gonna fail miserably, and that's what happened. So it was not not at all important you know, yeah. for, for for the show, but yeah, we ended up like putting that out and there was a lot of people that shared that. And I think it was some like elements of the, the of the show, the cast of the show that actually retweeted that and shared that. That was, so it was fun.